Guess who can't still feel pain? The Human Shield. Ow. In 2009, Alan Curtis broke his skull, arm, and incurred brainstem damage from a cycling accident. The accident itself, not that cool. The cool part is his power. The damage to his brain caused him to have a severe lack of temperature and pain receptors on the right side of his body. You know that new movie, Novocaine? Where the main character doesn't have the ability to feel pain? So he goes all John Wick and goes does all this crazy stuff, frying his own hand in oil and crap? He's like half Novocaine. If he, for example, gets blasted by a flamethrower, he'll be all like, nah, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Or maybe like a really cool one-liner like, that hurt, but only halfway. Call me Lactania the way I be half and half. There we go. That's a good one. His head injury likely severed or severely damaged his spinothalamic pathways, blocking pain signals from reaching the sensory part of his brain. There were some side effects to his newfound power, though. He can't hear as well as he used to, and he has some slight short-term memory loss. He retained most of his motor function, the majority of his senses, and his physical capabilities, making his one of the two most gangster powers in this list. Speaking of no brains, uh, we didn't say anything about no brains. This one got his brain removed. Jody Smith, the fearless man. 